Residents at 990 Bronx Park South are fed up with what they're calling uninhabitable living conditions in their building. That's why they held a meeting to discuss what to do next. Tenants are the ones that are being neglected and they are the ones who are, you know, that we want to hold, that we want to hold these landlords accountable to, to make sure that they get the um, repairs and the heat and hot water that they deserve and need in their apartments. The stormy weather kept many tenants from the meeting, but it didn't stop a few frustrated residents from showing up. So how many of you here do not have heat in your apartment? Raise your hand. Okay. How many of you have no hot water in your apartment? Raise your hand. Last week, Reboot New York brought you the story of Eddie Vasquez, who says he's had very little heat in his apartment. We introduced you to Jasmine Garcia, who also didn't have heat. She sent us these pictures of mice she found in her apartment. And then hopefully I want to Israel Valle, who attended the meeting, showed us this book where he keeps track of each time he doesn't have heat. Reboot New York spoke with the manager of the building, who agreed to be interviewed to address the allegations. We like any management, any boiler can damage. We don't have major problem with our boiler. It's working properly. You said it's, uh, there's never been any problems in here at all? Never at all. No, none with the heat? No, with the heat. He took us to the boiler room to show that it was working. We also went with him to Eddie's apartment to discuss the issues with his place. Right now it's hot water? Yes. It's good but here? not at night. Not at night. So at night I'm going to come over here and I'm going to knock your door and I'm going to take the temperature of the building, I mean the temperature of your apartment and the temperature of the water. When asked about the rodent problems, he said an exterminator was going to every apartment to check for them. During our interview, the manager said that the building walls had been painted and were taken care of. But as you can see behind me, there's still a lot of work to be done. Do you feel for the people who live in this building? Sure, 100%. I care, I care about them like they're my family, of course. 100%. But that's not stopping the tenants from moving forward. What's next? They're trying to get their city councilman to visit the building to see the conditions for himself sometime in the next few weeks. In the Bronx, Daniel Rodriguez, Reboot, New York.